95% of all golfers, maybe more, get this wrong with their wedges. And this is what happens. 104 yards, wedge, easy shot. I'm gonna make a birdie, rock and roll, let's do this. Does this happen to you? Long, left, bogey, and if you don't have an awesome short game off tight lies on mm, tricky shots, it's a double. So with just a little bit of instruction and understanding of what to do, without even changing your swing, you can go from that to this. That's a much better chance at birdie than, well, the other one was. So let's dive in and get you fixed up. Okay, here's what we have to understand about our wedge game right here. And it is critical into hitting shots close to the hole more often than not. What we have to understand is that there's a huge difference in our setup when it comes to our wedges versus our irons. Here's why. When we set up with our mid to long irons and everything else, we wanna set up very square with a square face so that our face is pointed where we want our ball to go. And the reason is this. Here's my iron setup, my, my seven iron setup. Now, if I were to set up my wedge like that, I would be really far from the ball. We don't want that. So our wedge setup is much closer to our body, which creates a much more vertical swing. That's very important to understand. Because we're farther away with our mid irons, we just naturally are able to come more from the inside. And when we come more from the inside, we're gonna hit typically with a more open club face. But because we're coming from the inside, ideally we would get a little bit of right to left spin. So in a perfect world, we'd be slightly open face, slightly from the inside, all that equals a pretty straight ball flight. And so that's mostly what happens, let's say, with our mid to long irons. And then one other thing to consider is this. With our mid irons, notice when I shut that face a little bit, that ball goes left. It goes slightly lower and to the left. Okay, that's important to remember. Just a little bit. So. When we miss left with our longer irons, it'll go slightly lower and slightly left. Now put our little uh, magnet dealio on our wedge and look what happens. Notice that when I go left, that goes a lot lower and much farther left than my seven iron did. The same amount of closing the club face with the wedge versus a seven iron, there's a lot of movement on that thing. And that's a lot of movement in a very short period of time. This is only going 100 or so yards. But when we've got that 100 yard shot, we expect to at least be on the green. So here's where things get interesting. What the typical 95% of golfers do with their wedges is they get their hands forward here at setup. When you get your hands forward here at setup, one of two things is gonna happen. Either you're going to take your swing and release early and come into the ball, which is going to move your hands from here back to here, which is dramatically going to shut down that club face and it's pointing dead left. The loft gets a lot less and it goes much farther left, which means long left. And that typically, with a 100 yard shot, equals very bad. The other thing you might do in this situation is keep your hands forward and then shut the face down a little bit more and then it goes even longer, but a little bit less left. So you're just way long, slightly left. Again, you're over the green and it's no good. So here's what you want to do, and I'll show you the result here in just a second, is instead of setting up with your hands way forward, bring your hands right to the center. 
Now, immediately when you do this, that face starts pointing even more left. So you gotta open the face a little bit just to get the club face square. And then you notice the ball is gonna go a lot higher. That's okay. What I wanna do is do even more of that. And I wanna open the face a little bit more. Now look at this. Here's what's very interesting about the wedges when you set up. Notice when I set up hands in the middle, perfectly square. Notice when I shut the face, how much loft gets decreased and how far left it goes. So we're lowering the loft and it's going way left. Now get back to square. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing going the opposite direction, opening the face. Look what happens. It goes very high, but it doesn't go far right. As a matter of fact, it goes much less right than it went left. When you start shutting that face, not only does it go lower, but it really turns hard left. As opposed to when I open the face, it just kind of goes vertical and slightly right, which is totally fine. Remember, when you're swinging a wedge, you're a lot closer to the ball, which creates a much more vertical swing. So when you're more vertical, you're gonna come down more vertically into that ball. And that vertical angle of attack is actually going to move your hands forward ahead of the club face, which does what? It shuts down that club face, getting your loft back to where it should be. And it squares that club face up perfectly. Now you're able to cover the ball, release, and not worry about going left. All because you set up in the middle with an open club face. So many people think that when you open the face, it goes right. It doesn't go right. That's because of your angle of attack coming into the ball and your natural release of the club head squares everything up. And then you get much more spin, much more control, and much, much, much more accuracy. Let me show you what that looks like. The first shot, I'm gonna do our conventional setup, hands are forward, club face square which most of us do in these situations. It just seems normal and natural. And I hit a great shot, solid, everything was good. But again, I'm way left and I was just swinging normal. But now I'm gonna do what we talked about. I'm gonna back my hands up in the center and I'm really gonna open that club face up and then I can hit my normal attack angle with my wedge, stay over top of the ball, cover it, release, and be aggressive with my shot. Everything we wanna do with a 100 yard shot or so. So hands are in the center, open that face up now. And it goes against what we think, like, oh, I'm gonna miss way right, but we're not because of our descent angle and how we how we release the club face to get it back to square at impact which all happens naturally you don't even have to think about it go in oh <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have that one than the first one? And it has nothing to do with your swing, 100% your setup and your mental approach to your wedge game. Wouldn't get you fixed up. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Work hard. See you soon.